Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica. Now, I have this guy here. This, I would call it a single phase contactor. And the reason why I would do call it like that, uh, it's because it's different from this contactor and this. Okay? This is 40 amps, 40, 80 amps, and this is 60 amps. Okay, but the reason why I would call this one a single phase is because I can use it for a change of a switch. Okay, like this guy here. So this is a manual change of a switch. I can use this as a traumatic change of a switch. The reason why I would do that because we have got four main contacts here, the same way we have here. The same way we have four here but all of them are open here well as here we have two open and two closed okay so that would be perfect for single phase changeover switch okay so if you have a contactor like this one which has got an auxiliary and it is closed so you would wonder if you would if you may use it for changing over power okay maybe you would use one of the main contact and then one auxiliary contact but that wouldn't work for you well because normally the auxiliary contact they carry small current okay so it won't be able to work for you so you need a contact like this that will break both lines okay so you have two contact for normally close you have two contacts for normally open okay you could put in your neutral and live from your utility supply and then in neutral live for you from your backup either an inverter or a generator okay then this side as we normally do you short all of them and you connect your load okay you look at all these contactors you see they have the same size they carry of they have the same current bit open all closed okay so let us do some measurement here so my multimeter is in open mode I mean is in the continuity mode so we can So you see that is closed and that is closed then we these are open if i put my probes like that and i press right here so the circuit closes okay so you see my multimeter completes and then these are normally closed if i press right here itself okay okay uh, so this contactor here it's really uh, good okay uh, if you don't want to go through the hassle of you know building a changeover switch for changeover switch where you need two contactors and then uh, you need maybe a timer you know kind of stuff uh, then this is perfect for you and use it for an inverter or even a money generator because you have to start it and then let this work okay then uh, the other thing also uh, that you have to note when you're using this uh, and if your backup power is generator is that uh, you the coil should always be supplied by the main okay because the main comes once and it goes once okay but uh, if you supply the coil with the, the generator, then especially the money generator, which don't have other add-ons, uh, the coil will die out so quickly. When you're starting a generator and then the thing is on, so the generator starts uh, at a low speed, then when it attains its maximum speed, that's when this contactor will sit well. So if you do that multiple times, uh, you'll burn the coil. So it's better you let your main supply the coil and then the generator will be on the normally uh, closed contact okay hope that uh, you know 
really makes some some sense but it's a, a good contactor and it can work as a change of a switch why not okay thank you very much for watching guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to like and uh, if you have anyone that these videos interest them then please share it with them okay until next time I'm out <laughs>